the U.S. has the largest economy in the world. What enables that? Well, today I will explain just that, using data that I have collected from multiple sources. We've all heard of the term the American dream, but have you ever asked yourself what factors or systems allow this to happen? All of us are residents or citizens of the United States and are impacted by the economic system of capitalism. Capitalism is the principal economic system in the U.S. that enables the U.S. to have the largest economy in the world by providing opportunities that many other economic systems do not. Today, I will discuss the definition of capitalism, the, its history, and its impact on society. First, let's begin by discussing the definition of capitalism. Capitalism is an economic system where private entities control the factors of production, according to Kimberly Amadeo on an article on TheBalance.com. What are the factors of production, I hear you ask? Well, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, the factors of production are the means by which raw materials are turned into goods. The factors of production are categorized into four categories, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Hayes writes on in investopedia.com that capitalism is also known for the limited role that the government plays in the economy. Capitalism is also known for providing protection of private property for citizens, as well as allowing citizens to accumulate capital, which they can then reinvest. So, capitalism is an economic system where private entities control the factors of production with limited to no involvement from the government other than the legal protection of private property other, and some other factors. Before we discuss the economic impact of capitalism, we must first take a look at its history. Norman writes on the Financial Times that in the late 18th century, capitalism and free trade ideas along with limited involvement of the government started to gain popularity largely in part because of the publication of Adam Smith's book, The Wealth of Nations, which advocated for capitalism. Before the invention of capitalism, Europe was a powerhouse of the global economy. Many European nations practiced the economic principles of mercantilism, which was a system in which governments or companies chartered by governments played a large part in the, in the economies of those nations. Their goal was to minimize imports and maximize exports, according to Blumenthal on Investopedia.com. When capitalism started to gain popularity, governments started switching to capitalist systems by providing legal protection of private property and allowing citizens to accumulate capital. So basically, the economic system of capitalism's origins can be derived or can be traced back to the publication of Adam Smith's book, The Wealth of Nations. And lastly, capitalism has a major impact on the societies in which this system is practiced, including our own here in the United States. Capitalism as a system promotes innovation by allowing free trade that leads to competition among businesses. Although capitalism does lead to innovation, it also creates inequalities within society. Certainly, however, the inequalities now are not as large as they once were. When capitalist markets first began, workers faced harsh, harsh conditions and had a very low standard of life. But with some government intervention and creation of labor unions, the, the inequalities within society decreased. Capitalism also provides opportunities to many people that are not provided in other economic systems, such as the ability to accumulate capital and to control the factors of production. So in conclusion, capitalism impacts our societies by creating competition that leads to innovation, creating inequality, and providing opportunities. In conclusion, capitalism is an economic system that enables free trade and has impacted our societies for the past two centuries. Although capitalism is not perfect, it is what enabled the U.S. to become one of the largest economies in the world. Since we all live in the U.S., capitalism affects our daily lives by affording us opportunities and giving us greater economic freedom than in nations without capitalism. Thank you for listening.